So we've got uh, shop night on remote location today. We are not at the race shop. We are in my personal garage. And uh, this is the mighty excursion. All ten cylinders of it. Only problem is one of the cylinders, one of the spark plugs... Uh, Ejected itself, so we're only running on nine, which is still one better than a V8, but it kind of makes this thing run screwed up. So we're uh, gonna get after it tonight. It's 10:30 at night. Um, that hole right there is supposed to have a spark plug in it, um, like that one. And like the other few on here, but uh, that one does not. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that it took the threads with it, just like it did with one, two back from there. Uh, yeah, back there somewhere. That one's, that one's got a helical on it. Probably can't see it, but uh, yeah, kind of maybe. Anyway. So we got the time cert kit. Um, I don't think we shared exactly that same kit the last time, but we can share it again if we didn't this time. Anyway, we're going to get after it, and uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. All right, hang All on. right, so this is the time cert Ford Triton spark plug repair kit, the air coil kit. Helicoil part, um, insert part. It's actually technically not a helicoil. I had bought some before I got this kit, and these are about twice as thick, so it's a pretty nice kit. Some driver oil, that's one of the tools that we'll use towards the end that drives this into the threads that we cut. Um, I believe this is the reamer. Uh, so it's basically a, a the steps are counter bore, reamer, and then tap, I think in that order. Yeah. And then, uh, so you tap threads and then, so you can see there's external and internal threads on the insert. So the external ones obviously hold it in place and the internal ones are for the spark plug. So. I keep going. Okay, first step was the counter bore tool. Um, basically, all these tools you just run until they bottom out. So, this one, when it lands on this seat right here, it stops cutting. But basically, just turn it with your hand. Um, it comes with a little bar to send through this top side. Um, but just to get it up and out of the way. Put an extension with a 5.8 socket on there and just turn it that way. So it's looking pretty clean down in there. Um, otherwise, it's kind of a mucky mess. Uh, one thing that's pretty handy you should do often is clean that hole out. So I taped a hose to the end of my shop back and just run that down in there each time I run the any tool down in there, you know, several times. Uh, keep that clean. Eventually that little hose, I'll see what, I don't know if it, that hose is marked, what size it is. Um, it fits through the uh, spark plug hole, so it actually goes down in the cylinder. One thing I did last time was I actually kind of cut these, just cut some little slots in this hose so that it kind of flares out and uh, let me pick up some a little more junk back down there. Um, another thing I've been doing which I think is pretty handy to keep that spark plug hole cleaned out as you're working it is grab one of these claw tools that type of unit and then just bundle up a little chunk of paper and spray it with some brake clean. 
hook it inside of here and then go down in there and swab that out. One thing that the uh, kit suggests is to, on the reaming tool, to pack the flutes with some heavy grease. I just got some store brand grease and uh, so as you are making um, the chips from cutting it, they get collected in the grease and don't fall down in the cylinder as much anyhow. So actually a pretty good idea. Um, so far so good. We're about two-thirds of the way done with the ream process. And then uh, we'll cut a few threads and we'll put our insert in. Now we are on to the tapping portion. So we're going to tap threads into the head. And then that's uh, what the insert is going to hold on to. So similar practice on this one with uh, as the reamer tool with the grease and the flutes helps catch the, catch the chips. Okay, we got our threads cut in the head. Now we're going to put the insert in. A little bit of Loctite comes with the kit to help hold it in place. Even though, see that little dimple right there? There's a uh, tool that we're going to use at the end that actually pushes that dimple out and digs it into the head, so it's not going anywhere. All right, it's now 2.30 in the morning, and it's all back together as far as I can tell, and we're going to see what happens when I hit the key. Let's see what we got. Come on. Listen. You had a bad day, your camera's on the right, you're coming back down, you really don't mind, you had a bad day. Yeah. All right, Lou. So how, how did everything go with, uh, you know, the guys all looked at the video of you, uh, just give us the storyline, a quick storyline of everything. I don't know if you did it in the videos before this, but... I pretty much, I think I got them all, um, all the way up until, you know, the main part of the repair was done, you know, the important part with the, the, the time cert tool, which is getting the insert in and all that stuff. Um, and then, I think after that, I just, I just put all together, but it ended up being like 3 a.m. I think I was kind of chronicling the time... That started about 10:30. Actually, went pretty quick. It's a quick tool. Don't don't knock on the tool at all. But uh, yeah, it it was about 3 a.m. by the time I was done. I had to go get a socket that I lost at my place. Anyway, long story short, it's all done. And <laughs> that tool works great. It, it really does. You can uh, you can have confidence really if you buy if you're like really this is kind of how I've been thinking about it. You can be a little leery of these Tritons. You can <laughs> leery, but you have a tool like that. It's it's not a big deal, right? So it was a couple days ago that we were done. I was just I was gas at point. Like I said, I was done at three, and I had to be in the office by <laughs> seven. So I I just and when I started up, I still had a miss, and I was so delusional that night. I forgot to put one of the coils on the cylinder, so <laughs> that was one of the misses. And then actually, the miss which kind of initiated all the work from that earlier week earlier in the week was on a cylinder was not on the one that shot out of the head so i don't know it, it was just yeah it was crazy but so it worked out look luckily i was in florida yeah. when this was going on oh, I, so. I made note of that i think i did <laughs> he's got some clips of a video of him driving it hopefully he saved that i no, can I didn't say oh that. it was just you sent to the videos and you just all you hear is just bop, 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 bop. it was just yeah. it was I had classic. About half a mile to go and it was just banging against yeah. the hood. So I mean he's got you know two down, eight to go. Eight to go. <laughs> hey, bought the <laughs> bought the plus two motor. So <laughs> the plus few, two motor. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. And I was down in Florida and I saw some of these units that were down in Florida that were clean as hell. I mean, this look, look at this. This side. This is a good side. Yeah, this is yeah, this is the YouTube side. You know, get in there. It is clean. 
I like keeping it clean. But yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> it's clean though. It's and we, clean. I don't think we. Chronicle... And them twenties? No, nah, them, them tens, them tens. Seventeens, <laughs> I guess. But uh, uh, yeah, and then the week before we had a brake line blow it on this. So if you look underneath, it's a little bit more brown than. The top. Yeah, you guys will see a couple of clips of that. I think I'll throw those in there in this next or the past video. I think I threw a clip or two in there. I don't think Louis didn't take any video of that. He's just been on a roll. I think within the. A week, he had the brake line, and yep. then it, it, then he had one go yep. um, plug push out, and it pushed all the way out. And um, <laughs> he decided he wanted to do that from <laughs> – it was up until 3 a.m. doing it. Oh, my God. Yeah. But it was good. It, actually, it went along good. I, just, I was trying to you know, take some videos and take my time with, you know, making sure the cylinders cleaned out really well. And if you'll, you'll notice in the videos how I put that – the heavy grease in the flutes of the tap and of mm -hmm. the reamer really keep those chips out of the cylinder and i mean they it seems like it's a foolproof fix you just gotta just gotta suck it up okay so over. over under on um how many how many days how before many, the next one happens how many days i get to pick okay yeah we'll we'll, well set up we'll set a let's, line let's call it 30 let's call it a month let's call okay, it a 30. month what do you want over or you want under <sighs> i'm gonna take the under i'll take over i'll take the over ah. I think you're a sport. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's the under. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do know it's the under. Uh, I'll give you a fighting chance. Yeah, well, right. hey guys, you can see it's snowing out here tonight. It's taking off again. So we're probably, we're supposed to get another f between and for 24 hours. I think it's about six inches or something. Yeah. I think we're supposed to get. So hopefully we're not, you know, sitting in a snowstorm, doing another brake line or doing anything else like that. But. Um, yeah, good. I think we're good. We're yeah, almost okay. there. I don't okay for the night. Any other updates on, yeah, we can bring them back in the shop here. Yeah, may as well. Since oh, sorry, your... lighting camera. Lamp. Going here. Oh, that's a good one. Good thing it's not glass. It's my lifesaver. All right, so, um, so, uh, the couple things that we got done on this, um, so I put new calipers in the rear of this unit, uh, brake pads, rotors. And then we fixed the seal up front on the left side so it's no longer leaking transmission fluid. But as junk will always be junk, I don't think you're going to see that underneath there. Yep, there's some more fluid. It looks like it's power steering fluid. And I'm guessing it's hopefully not coming from the rack and maybe a line. Uh, I'll take one of those, Lou. Oh, give me a Miller. I haven't had a Miller in a minute. Uh, it's a Miller soda, right? Non-alcoholic. Okay. We got options. Yeah, options. So um, this unit's uh, getting there. We just you can assist me with that. We just in, uh, instead of fixing anything else with a cruise control or anything like that, we decided to right thing and uh, install my old subwoofers that I've had since I was in high school. So going down a power tour, we'll be banging out out to some music, huh? No, I won't have to show them off. I mean, oh, you want you actually show them? Okay, yeah, we'll show it. We won't turn it on just yet because the sound doesn't come no, through anymore. So these are Sony Explodes that I bought in 2006, I think, from Best Buy. They're the black version, so they're not just the Walmart crappy versions. I'm mean, happy, but um, yeah, so we got that done. Still smells like exhaust in here, so. Um, I fixed a couple other little small things on it. Um, hopefully, hopefully we don't have to do much with the power steering pump or, or the power steering pump or um, the rack itself. Um, might run into some issues with that. So we'll take a look on that Monday. We're here out on a Saturday night, just taking care of a couple of things. Louis, Louis, we're uh, the uh, race car right now. He's got we just kind of set everything in there for right now. He's got everything clinkoed in in the front for the nose. And the push bar uh, got the, the, the kind of tacked yeah in. tacked in um, the exhaust or the exhaust the the front bumper and the intake here you can see he's got that all kind of situated in there and squared up so he's got a used bumper on the front this year which saved himself quite a bit of money on that new fenders is the big deal that's pretty much what was the most tore up on it I mean, the, the, the bumper from last year the bumper cover was pretty rough so this one's actually from two years ago that we had painted it was just sitting around as an extra and actually ended up being in better shape than the one we had last year so the old one from last year is up up in storage for a backup 
got a few tire marks on it. It's a little ripped up. So yeah, that was used. It's pretty good. Actually, it looks pretty clean. It yeah, it looks really up. good. Actually, yeah. it came. It's yeah. It's not all chewed up. I no, mean, I mean a little bit, but a couple stickers. <coughs> and These are new. Everything else we're gonna, we're gonna clean up and reuse, other than one rocker. Okay. Yeah. So, well, I think that's pretty much all the updates that we have for right yeah, now. I think. Um, it's still here. Um, yeah. Well, that's that's uh, if, if Louis isn't racing two nights a week all summer long, it might be able to get done in one summer. Maybe running it, work, running and driving. At, working at it two nights a week. Yeah, working two nights a week. All right, guys. Well, um, this is going to be probably an interim video that I might put out there, um, and then we'll go back to our regular scheduling on Mondays. So this will probably be, eh, maybe I'll shoot this out uh, later this week. I'll do the Monday one, and then I'll do one maybe later, like a Friday deal or something like that. You guys can check out, and then you guys can check out our. I mean, if you guys haven't shown any interest towards these units, these are. Fresh hats. If you guys show any interest, maybe I'll put some up uh, for sale for everybody else if they want to. Um, they're the old school hats, and then I'll treat them with a hat saver system that stops it from sweating through. That's not a paid sponsor. We're not paid sponsored by TTX or. I mean, we're kind of paid sponsored by T or Louis uh, Lou Goss Racing, I guess, because we're here. But, yeah, we're not charging to use the shop. Yeah, we're not charging to use the shop. So, all right, guys. Well, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you like this kind of content, and like I said, there's going to be more to come. We're trying to get a stack of videos ready for everybody to come in and watch. We're not really sharing it a lot on Facebook, um, but we're going to. It just We want to get a stockpile of videos so people have something to watch. And it's going to get more exciting because we're just talking about what we might do during the race season. Is like I might interview Louie after um, you know practice or after heat races and thought process and what he goes through with his thought process. It'll probably help you help you out too. Think yourself through these things yeah. instead of, it's you know, like taking yeah. notes kind of and we'll have the GoPro ready inside the car so I can throw clip, clips in here and there. But, well, um, but I mean, that's pretty much it. We're just, we're looking for the summertime and yeah. it's going to be good. It's, there's going to be a lot of racing. We're going to show clips of Hain, I'm sure. I'm sure Hain will probably yeah. want to. Power tour clips. Power tour. We're kind of working on all this stuff and then some, all summer long it's going to be driving it racing it all yeah so everything hopefully we can still get still working on the excursion and the so. excursion is not going to be done that thing we're worried about that a little bit so we're, we're hoping to do all 10 of those uh plugs <laughs> before we gotta start pulling heavy with it yeah all right guys we'll catch you in the next one all right have a good night